the brutal losses of the early start of the year, U.S. stocks and uh, abroad generally markets were rallying. 2013 closed with some spectacular gains. But in the last few weeks, it's been sell, 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 and many analysts are now questioning whether we're headed for another bear market. Karina Huber explores. Janet Yellen is the new face of the Federal Reserve, the central bank whose easy money policy helped push global markets to record highs in 2013. But the Fed recently announced it will slightly taper off its asset buying program that for a while injected more than $80 billion a month into the U.S. banking system. That, combined with disappointing news in emerging markets and lackluster earnings, has caused market jitters and a global sell-off that can be felt from Hong Kong to Wall Street. In Asia, Japan's Nikkei has entered correction territory, falling 10 percent from its December 30th high. European markets have also fallen substantially. And here in the U.S., the S&P 500 is down 5 percent since the beginning of the year. So is the party over? I don't think this is this big, major capitulation sell-off that everyone's been waiting for. I don't think we see a 10 percent move. This is just a normal step and healthy steps for our market. The traders we spoke to on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange said they expect volatility, but not a bear market. The market was up 30 percent or so last year. Uh, you got some weakness, particularly in China, that some numbers over there that came out that were disappointing. So I think right now we're seeing a little bit of a sell-off, um, you know, like, like you said, 5 percent so far in the S&P, just because you've, you've had such a nice run-up last year. Some analysts say the sell-off is healthy. Buyers who were waiting to get into the market at the end of 2013, beginning of 2014, have been waiting for this opportunity, and we're going to see them come into this market. That infusion will help build a base in our market now. Corpina and Keating believe stocks will provide returns this year, but in the 8 to 10 percent range, nothing like the 30 percent return in 2013. There is a lot of uncertainty as to where the U.S. markets are headed. Looking forward, all eyes are on the government jobs report coming out on Friday. If we get a bad number, we should expect a further sell-off, which could be bad for some. But for others, it could be the perfect buy opportunity if they can handle the volatility. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.